AMR is absolutely the in thing. It's a it's a point of very important point of discussion these days, uh, or what we know as antimicrobial resistance. So um, <clears throat> we know that uh, we have had very rampant misuse of antibiotics, and uh, it is it is actually in nature. Whenever you are, um, you know, repeatedly uh, attacked or repeatedly uh, prevented from proliferation, you try to find the bypass traps. So this is what is perhaps antimicrobial resistance. When we get infections, we use antibiotics against those infections. Uh, important to remember that antibiotics need to be used only in uh, you know bacterial infections there there are different organisms which can cause infections like viruses like bacteria and other organisms antibiotics essentially refers to treatment of you know those infections which are caused by bacteria so Whenever we use antibiotics uh, repeatedly for certain bacteria, the bacteria also find a way to survive those antibiotics and become resistant to them. So this is essentially, in a very layman's term, uh, antimicrobial resistance. A couple of diseases we are very well uh, familiar of uh, about, uh, for example, uh, <clears throat> typhoid. Typhoid is one disease which is caused by bacteria. And for ages, when I was doing my MBBS and later my MD, we used to have a drug called, uh, you know, chloromycetin, which we would use for treatment of typhoid. There were some side effects of that, but it was extremely effective against typhoid. But over a period of time, we have seen that people started using other antibiotics and now the scene is that you need very, very much higher antibiotics for typhoid. Likewise for tuberculosis, India uh, has a fairly huge load of tuberculosis um, as compared to the other parts of the world. So. In India, again, tuberculosis, there have been so many reasons. People don't take complete treatment, people take incomplete treatment, or I mean, incomplete in terms of number of drugs being used, incomplete in terms of, you know, the duration of treatment. And that has led to, you know, uh, multi-drug resistant tuberculosis and extended uh, resistant tuberculosis uh, being very prominent in our country. There are certain sexually transmitted diseases like gonorrhea, uh, which again have become, you know, resistant over the over the period of time. There are several, uh, uh, you know, infections uh, in terms of the ICU infections or the intensive care unit uh, infections wherein uh, <clears throat> the um, uh, infections, whether they are respiratory in nature or urinary tract or just sepsis, post-operative sepsis, a lot of these patients have increasingly become uh, resistant to the antibiotics to which they used to respond several years. Okay. For the public awareness, we have been doing uh, things like Nukkar Natak. Nukkar mm -hmm. Natak essentially means in the OPD, yeah. we'll gather a lot of patients around and there will be a, a, a Natak performed to educate the people that there is existence of something called uh, antimicrobial resistance. And for this, the most effective way is to treat the infections properly under the guidance of the treating doctor, number one. Number two, we also recommend that people do not self-prescribe themselves the medicines 
or uh, you know even just go to the chemist and whatever he loosely gives uh, don't use that uh, <clears throat> to our own doctors we also tell them um, specific indications for uh, using antibiotics like where i trained um, in in chandigarh in pgi mm -hmm. we were always taught that um, one thing which is very common is upper respiratory infection mm -hmm. or what we call as flu and you would you would have seen around uh, yourself uh, people rampantly use antibiotics for that we were always taught that unless you have a yellow phlegm or you have a pain in the throat upon swallowing those are the only two conditions when you use antibiotics the third thing we've done at, on the hospital basis is that we have our department of microbiology which tells us which gives us the antibiogram antibiogram means if a patient comes to me with upper respiratory infection or urinary tract infection what have been the commonest organisms which have caused these infections in the preceding say 3 months or 2 months and they have responded to which antibiotics we all third thing is we encourage all our doctors to use culture sensitivity which is the most sensible way to go about treating the infections so treat only those which need to be treated treat you know have uh, uh, as long as you're waiting for culture and sensitivity you treat according to what have been the trends in your area we've also weeded out from the hospital formulary we have included certain antibiotics which are found to be useful and we weeded out the ones which are useless and stayed long with those which are still effective so we've rationalized our uh, antibiotics formulary and that's another thing uh, we have done the most important thing uh, that i feel and that people should know is to avoid self prescription or prescription at the chemist level get treated by your doctor who is qualified to treat you and use the antibiotics in the of the nature that your doctor finds are effective and for the duration that your doctor recommends that's the major way to you know overcome this antibiotic uh, antimicrobial resistance